Welcome back to Instable. So again, recapping on our weekly chart as we close out the week. Again, now sitting on a doji candle following our hammer candle that we have been sitting on just at resistance. Now our question is, will we continue on with this doji candle possibly to the downside, retest our 10 weekly moving average, or will we possibly continue on above our prior balance high here? I'm going to go over exactly what has to happen for us to continue on bullish. And if we do have that shift from bullish into bearish momentum, what exactly would be that key signal that we are looking for? I'm going to go over all this with you guys. Hit the like button if you enjoy. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And if you are a day trader, if you're looking for pre-market news as early as you're going to find it, any major movers as early as you want to find them, any major levels that you want to be watching, any major data sets that are very key to the market on major volatile movement. As you guys can see here with GSIT, one of many movers that we mentioned this last week, this was a higher risk mover. We also mentioned a couple FDA movers this last week with pre-market news that continued on over 100%. As you guys can see here with GSIT, continued on past our $3 spike. Again, higher risk, continued on to $3.88. And if you were looking for a continuation here, as you guys can see, going to extended hours, went up to $5.92. Again, these are the type of major volatile movers that we mentioned in the Instables room. Again, go to instables.com in the description below. And for only $15 a month, you will never miss a breakout alert today. Again, let's jump into this one. So jumping into this buy with you guys here again, looking at our candle structure as we are still closing just above our 10 day, we are looking to see if we will possibly either close below our 10 day as our 10 day crosses below our 21, as you guys can see, just crossing below our 21 day here, looking to see if we will possibly either close again below our 10 day as our 10 day crosses below our 21 day, or possibly continue to respect our 10 day as our 10 day crosses above our 21. As you guys can see, we did cross above our 21 this last week, but now we are crossing just below. So as we have our increase in sell pressure that just came in this last Friday, in my opinion, I would be careful making sure that we do not continue to increase in sell pressure. If going into next week, we do not continue with sell pressure and we do get a continuation on decreases in sell pressure for that possible increase in buy pressure, then we can definitely have a rally here. Keep that in mind. That is our overall strength. But as far as which levels we are looking to see if we can continue on above to have room to run to the upside will be again above our prior balance here at 418. If we can continue on above 418 here, then in my opinion, we can possibly test our 431 level that we had our prior rejection from. And again, this would be that possible gap up if we continued on above our 431 level. So again, continuing on above our 431 level would give us bigger gaps. And the reason why is because we actually had large gaps to the downside here. So again, above 431 would be more room to run to the upside here. But in my opinion, as we look for that possible bullish momentum, we need to start from step one. And that is continuing to close above our 10 day as our 10 day crosses above our 21. So again, as we cross below our 21, we want to see if we can possibly close with our 10 back above our 21 and continue on with any possible bullish candle structure, any possible engulfing candle to possibly retest our prior resistance. And then in my opinion, looking for that possible spike and then proof of concept and then making sure that you do play that proof of concept on that continuation would be again, that intraday momentum. If you're looking for that clear sky breakout here, but as far as that strength and where we are headed next, again, we want to see exactly how our next bar closes here on our MACD. If we continue on with increases in sell pressure, if our 12 continues to point down here as our 12 is now pointing down, we are not curling up for that possible cross. If going into Monday and Tuesday, we do happen to curl here for that possible cross and we do cross above our 26 with that increase in buy pressure, then that will be that signal for that possible bullish case scenario above our prior balance high. But until that does happen, we are very much within contraction looking for that major move again above or below our 21 with our 10 either crossing above or below our 21. Now, as we look at our overall momentum here on our weekly chart, as you guys can see, again, we have been decreasing in buy pressure here on our MACD, but now looking to see if we can continue to respect our 10 weekly moving average. If we do have a possible pullback, any major pullback here that we do happen to have, in my opinion, if we happen to get a doji candle, for example, with a possible momentum candle to the upside and we do break above our prior balance, then that could be that possible bullish case scenario from a possible morning star setup. Again, from here, simply looking for that bullish candle structure, even if we have a possible doji candle that comes out once again next week. And then we do have our 10 that starts to curl back up here. 
And then we have a possible engulfing candle showing us that we are possibly continuing on above resistance and then looking for that intraday play again with our spike above resistance for that possible proof of concept on that continuation that we would be looking for. So again, this is the play here. This is what we're looking for from a bullish case scenario. But again, if we do continue on bearish, in my opinion, we still do need our 10 weekly moving average to cross below our 21 weekly moving average if we are going to continue on with bearish momentum. So again, at this point in time, leaning on a short term pullback, but in my opinion, very much looking for any possible bullish candle structure on our weekly chart for that major continuation from here until we do get any proof of concept below our 10 weekly moving average for any possible bullish case scenario. We are very much looking for bullish candle structure here, in my opinion. Now to recap on our monthly chart again, what we have been looking out for here is exactly how this candle will close. And we still have another week till we do close this candle. But one thing to consider here is that we are very much testing our 21 month living average still. And we have been keeping an eye on this as we very much are testing. We are not closing above our 21 monthly moving average. This could be a possible inside bar close for a possible continuation on lower if we happen to continue on and again, close below our 411 level into next month. And that could be that continuation on lower if our 10 monthly moving average continued on below our 50 monthly moving average. So again, there is no overall bullish momentum until we do at least close above our 21 monthly moving average for that possible bullish candle structure on our monthly chart. So again, that's what we're looking for from a long perspective. And if that does happen, again, our targets would be our prior gap down that we had. Again, to recap on our intraday perspective, our levels that we're looking for here, if we happen to continue on back below 410, then in my opinion, we can test 403 once again after we did bounce again after Powell, which in my opinion was pretty bullish, but we are looking for any continuation with respecting our 10 day moving average till we can continue on with this bullish case scenario. So again, as our 10 crosses below our 21, we are very much cautious to the upside and the downside here as we have been throughout this last week of consolidation from CPI. CPI came out exactly just below expectation. So the market very indecisive on where it was headed next, but very much looking for this contraction to turn into a big move in my opinion. We'll see exactly what happens going into this next week. Now, again, with that said, if you are a day trader, again, if you're looking for major volatile movers that we mentioned in the Instables room, here's another one that we actually mentioned this last week is HCDI, an amazing breakout that we had in the Instables room. As you guys can see on Wednesday, we mentioned this halted at about $5.40, continued on all the way up to $15.80. We broke up almost 200% on this play and we also did catch this bounce if you guys did see this bounce here on hcdi again any major volatile movers any major levels that you want to be watching go to instables.com in the description below and you will never miss a break i like today again in fact hcdi looks like it's possible well look if you guys did not just see this here we just gapped up as if you guys just record look rewind this video just a second if you guys did not see this we just spiked going to extended hours again after a gap down we had a gap up here so we're again looking for confirmation like this in the instables room with prior gap downs looking for possible gap ups or possible continuations on major news pre-market are the type of major movers that we mentioned in the instables room again go to instables.com in the description below and for only 15 dollars a month you will never miss a break alert today again and again all of you instables i appreciate every one of you guys for supporting the channel every single day again continuing to take what the market gives us is what we will continue to do again overall a slow week with data coming out but again, regardless of how the market moves, making sure that we are consistent will be the number one focus as always. And again, if you guys do like this video, it does help the channel grow and I do appreciate it very much. And again, God bless you all and I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.